7 Action News, always taking action for you. It all started with a traffic ticket and a missed court appearance. Yeah, but when the bail bondsman came calling, the trouble escalated to a whole new level. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner shows us the stunning scene caught on camera in Canton Township. This all started when three guys showed up here to make the arrest. They didn't knock on the door. They busted right through it. They stormed in like SWAT. His family rolls this cell phone video. He's in the back of the SUV in custody. His wife grabs papers and runs. These are not cops, but bail bondsmen. It gets worse. The wife tosses the papers inside their mobile home, then grabs the shirt of a bondsman going after them. The shirt rips clean off. He responds with a taser. He still shoots it. It just happened to miss him. I'm, I'm, I'm happy it missed her. Richard Allen Bass doesn't want us to show you his face, but he does want to tell you his story. He says his family was traumatized. They drug me out, knocking my daughter over, so now I got three of my girls in there crying. Under Michigan law, a licensed bail bondsman has authority to pick people up who jump bail. Three guys were on this call Sunday afternoon from the UOG bail bond agency in Detroit. Richard Allen Bass says he did miss court, but they did not have to use force. The place would have called me and said, oh, you know, you missed court. I'd have been like, oh, fine, I can fix that Monday morning, no problem. Canton Police tell 7 Action News they are taking statements from all involved. And we'll then turn this over to the Wayne County prosecutor to sort out if anyone is charged with assault. In Canton, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Jim. Now, a spokesman for UWALK Bail Bonds tells 7 Action News they attempted to resolve the bail issue with Richard Allen Bass for about two months before picking him up. They also say his wife knew what was going on because she actually co signed his paperwork.